Hi, welcome to Visual C++ Inventory Management System. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. So let's reset there. So we select the product number as the product that we want and select how many days we intend to hire this product for and select credit limit for that very product. Here we already have how many days the product is for, 10% discount and check the condition, the terms and condition for hiring that very product and right here select OK now method of payment there so what we just need to do is to add up the total and we already have the account open date, last credit review data application, let's change that base application was received yeah and then uh, dates dates received so let's change that as well all you just need to do is to click on total and there you get your total and you want your receipt select receipt and there there we go so what i will do now is take you guys straight into visual c plus plus development environment and we'll put one of these together so let's do that now hi and welcome to visual c plus plus inventory management system i'm going to start by clicking on new project and then we select from this dialog box c plus plus select c plus plus windows from and let's give it a name i'm going to call it so that will be v cpp underscore inventory let's click on save now that the form is ready let's change the properties as follows start position i'm going to get that centered size let's make that 1368 by let's go for 800 and let's click on the form now the next thing is to go to the tools let's select panel I need a couple of those panels one here and just copy this across another one here let's increase the size a little bit and we need couple now let's just copy these ones across and drag this down take it down okay now this very one will drag it down all right that's all there is to it okay so what we need to do now is Let's add some labels on board. We're going to need one here, and we actually need four of those there. Let's increase the size of that very label first. Make that bold, and let's come for about 20. Right, right there. And one here. Select both, and another one here. And we also need one here, two, that's four. Then we need another four here. Okay. And let's go for three here. One two and three then we're going to need four of those somewhere here let's bring this down a little bit let's go for maybe four or five copy and paste it right there all right those are all the labels in place I suppose okay we need buttons 
right here. One, two, three, and let's make it four. And four. Okay. Now select all of these buttons and just increase the font size. Change the font size to about 20 as well. There. And in here, let's give this a name. We're going to call that BTN Total. There. And the text content on it, we change that to Total. Follow by. Let's go for. BTN Reset Change the text content of that to Reset Now BTN Reset Change that to Reset BTN Reset as the test content is reset and the name is btn reset and the final one will be exit btn exit and this becomes exit take it down there all right let's add some more comp component on board now we need combo box grab one of those combo box and paste it right here one we're gonna need four of those let's increase the font size as well let's go for 20 make it bold 20 or maybe 18 we can always change it so we need four of those there then we need two here one here and just paste another one here now we need we don't need four here and try it drop it there and we then need two here one and two paste it right here then the rest are going to be I think I'll go for label let's settle for label here let's come ok the label here already just copy it and change let's change the auto auto size make that force and back color make that white then border style right there make that maybe fix single yeah then delete the text the content in it the text content get rid of it there copy and bring it here one here another one here Okay, we need three of those underneath here. One, two, and three. Then we need we need checkbox. We need four checkbox. One here. Let's change the size of the text box. Checkbox. Change it to twenty as well bold 20 uh, that might be too big though 2 3 and 4 ok we'll move this up a little bit so there's enough room alright that's fine now we need a let's get a rich text box there. Then 
go we're going to need two of those switch text box there's one here and copy this paste it here this is going to be for my reset I'll bring it down right there yeah so if I save and compile and run this program this is how the interface look like let's run it now you guys will see now let's run it for the first time there we go guys this is how the whole interface look like it's not finished yet so let's I'm gonna speed up the whole interface design then get back to you guys so let's do that now okay guys this is how the whole system is looking let me just run it so that you have a look at it okay there we go that's how it's looking now but right here I think I should change all of these to to different components there's the date component let's come up here instead of me populating that myself just add one of these there and get rid of this let's see now that's the wrong component let's give it a try again there we go and get rid of this okay we're gonna need four of these so we can always just copy there we go guys yeah just align it that's fine so that's taken care of now the next thing I want to do is let's take care of this very one here double click on the reset button um, let's press enter right there and declare the following variable or maybe we can just copy let's come up here if we can see the system window no we can't so we might as well just write it out okay right here I'm gonna declare as follows let's go for that will be system windows forms and we need the dialog result and my variable is going to be I exit now I exit I exit equals let's use message box message box dot show actually is not this is not visual basic this is C sharp so with that show I think the show here is uppercase yeah so let's go for let's put another comma here and come right here let's enter confirm if you want to exit all right so let's just come here and call it inventory inventory that's no that's wrong there all right now I'm going to put another comma here let's go for message message box button dot no it's not dot column yes no comma message box icon this very one double click on that dot no not dot come on man that's information let's choose information and just enter semicolon there now let's use an if statement to compare what's in i exit i exit equals system dialog right there column column yes yeah all right that means 
is if it's equals to that coil braces then application column column exit parentheses there okay what's just happened here is I've declared the following variable and that variable this is supposed to be the message confirm if you want to exit the system and that's the name of the message box so the dialog box of the message will show yes or no and this is just the information icon which you guys should see later on if I select yes the system exit if I select no the system stay put so let's rebuild and run that's succeed so let's run it now and try out the exit there that's what happened you see the title that is the information icon you can click on no and you can click on yes if you like you can change the information icon to whatever you want so the message icon happens to be let's say is exclamation if you run it you see the difference between the information and that of the exclamation click can you see that exclamation mark all right so i'm going to just return it and do that and return it back to information so with that i'm going to call it the end of this first part of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed see you guys in the second part